Hello. Today, you will discuss the production of rayon. Rayon is a natural base material that is manufactured from the regenerated cellulose of wood pulp, cotton, or practically any other source of cellulose, and even protein. Being distinguished as the oldest manufactured fiber, it was developed as a silk alternative in France during the 1880s. After the harvested trees are transported to the pulp mill, they are subscribed to a chemical pulping process to remove everything but the cellulose, which is ultimately regenerated into rayon. This process is similar to the craft process discussed in class. For materials such as cellophane, viscose, and rayon, smaller quantities of wood fiber are refined to a very high level of purity. By carefully managing the whole process, the purity and characteristics of the fibers are adjusted to suit the end use purposes. Production of rayon begins with a processed cellulose, with the content in the pulp being around 87 to 95 percent. The cellulose sheets are processed by first being soaked in sodium hydroxide, which is also known as caustic soda, to create alkali cellulose, which is then dried, shredded, and aged for two to three days. After this period, it is mixed with carbon disulfide and churned to make cellulose extensate which is again bathed in the caustic soda. At this point, dyes are added, the solution is filtered and aged for another four to five days. The resulting solution is viscous and similar in consistency to honey. To produce the rayon filament, the viscous solution is forced through a spinneret and is solidified by an acid bath, which turns the strands to regenerated cellulose filaments. These filaments are stretched, spun into yarn, washed and bleached according to the desired filament to be made. At this point, the yarn can be rinsed, dried, and lastly wound on their final spools to be cured. Post-treatments can also be done on spools or woven fabrics for further desired properties. Rayon is produced from polymers that are naturally occurring, but the addition of many processing steps and chemicals makes its resulting fibers semi-synthetic. The fibers are known to have high strength, low elongation, and high absorbency in addition to good heat resistance. Rayon was originally made as a substitute to silk and most commonly felt much like it. But now rayon can be made to feel like a range of textures, including similar to that of cotton. It is these properties that make rayon the chosen fiber for industrial applications such as upholstery, apparel, hoses, and even tires. The Changing Markets Foundation works with non-governmental organizations to support campaigns that shift market share away from unsustainable products and companies. These studies allow for environmentally and socially beneficial solutions. This is a picture of the wastewater outfall near Sateri Fiber and Zhujiang Jinyuan chemical fiber viscose plants in Zhangji, China. In this same province, the Changing Markets Foundation has stated that viscose production has contributed to the pollution of China's largest freshwater lake, Poyang. This has led to the killing of all aquatic life in the lake. Here is another picture by the Changing Markets Foundation, shown as a researcher taking water samples on the north side of the Shandong Heilong chemical fiber plant. This is a supplier of H&M, Mark and & Spencer, and Zara. Carbon disulfide is one of the chemicals used to make rayon. It has been linked to coronary, heart disease, birth defects, skin conditions, and cancer. This factory and others have polluted nearby villages with carbon disulfide levels three times higher than the permitted limit. It has made potable water undrinkable. Furthermore, author David Blanc quotes in his book, you can't even buy US made rayon because the manufacturing process is too damaging to the environment through wastewater discharges. The Environmental Protection Agency's regulations caused the last of the rayon factories to close down more than a decade ago. Although rayon seems to be more sustainable than other synthetic clothing materials, there are some drawbacks, including deforestation, animal displacement, and GHG emissions. In some cases, the eucalyptus tree is planted to be used for its fibers. Although it's fast growing, the tree draws up a large amount of water, which can cause problems in sensitive regions. Canopy is a company that partners with fashion brands, designers, and their visco suppliers to keep the world's most endangered forests out of rayon clothing. Because deforestation is such a pressing issue, nine out of the 10 biggest rayon manufacturers have pledged to avoid sourcing from old growth forests. 
This makes up 80% of the market. This graph shows the historical pricing of different textiles. The orange curve represents silk, the blue curve is rayon, and finally the price of cotton is shown in green. In all price curves, there is a clear trend upwards with it spiking in 1920. One of the main reasons of the price spike during this time was influenced by World War I. There was a great demand for it during the war. However, afterwards there was an overload. This led to the price crash seen at this time. Although it is difficult to establish a current set price for rayon textiles, Fabric Wholesales Direct, a supplier of textiles, was used as a rough comparison for other common textile prices against rayon. As expected, silk fabrics are still quite expensive comparatively. The price of rayon has come down since the historical period shown previously and is now more cost effective than cotton. Alright guys, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please comment below. Like, comment, subscribe. 1 million subs.